Can you eat stem cells? You can, but it won't do anything because you kill them. Then why does stem regen work? Stem regen is plants, plant extracts that will trigger the release of your own stem cells. So just like you have like echinacea supporting your immune system, these are plants that support your repair system, which is your stem cell. Why does it matter that they're plant-based? It doesn't matter that they're plant-based. It's just that anything that you take orally as stem cells, your digestive system will, will kill them. So, so if you so, eat your own stem cells, they don't work either. They don't work. <laughs> exactly. So eating stem cells, bad idea. So I've heard the Kardashians are drinking their placenta for stem cells. Is that real? No, it's not. I mean, eating stem cells will kill the stem cells. So it's not a thing. However, I must say that there is a tradition in Africa uh, where you take the placenta and you just like smear your face with it and it gives you like a facelift. And that is true because you apply basically exosomes. You get exosomes from it. And I actually fully support eating your placenta because getting minerals from the placenta back in mom is something that will stop postpartum depression. It's oftentimes a lack of copper and zinc that triggers it, and it's all there in the placenta and we waste it. So I'm not tough enough to recommend cooking it up with liver and onions or whatever they used to do, but you can get it made into capsules and that's really smart. Eating things that don't get digested and act as signaling molecules in the body, uh, this is what's got me excited. In the very latest book, Smarter, Not Harder, I talk about the basic tenets of biohacking. It's get a signal into the body that causes the body to do what you want. And stem cell regulators, which are coming from plants or from animals or from chemicals even, it, it doesn't really matter as long as you're getting the right signal to the body that says make more stem cells. And now these are my stem cells. They're bioidentical. They're not from like eight or 10 random women's umbilical cords, mm -hmm. which seems expensive and a little risky. What are the risks of using stem regen versus using umbilical stem cells? Zero risk. I mean, that's one of the beauty of what we have with stem regen. It was not designed that way. But how did we identify the plants having an effect on stem cells? We started with the thought that a plant that supports stem cells in the body, that means stem cells will go into the, the, the pancreas of the diabetic, the heart of the heart patient, the lung of the wow. person. With, so that means they will bring a broad variety of benefits. So we looked at plants historically known to be associated with the broad variety of benefits, and we studied those plants. And they just happen to be plants that have been used for centuries, sometimes thousands of years. <laughs> so, so there's absolutely no risk at all. I mean, we've done it as humans for a long time. We just didn't realize that these plants had an effect on stem cells. That part is the new part.